Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Since election time is almost here, I'm going to start the show off today by talking with one of your candidates for State Senate District 39. Now, he has over 25 years' experience educating healthcare professionals, providers, community health centers, and hospitals on ways to better improve healthcare delivery, correctional health, and public health. He also has over 20 years' experience pushing the legislature to improve access to top primary care and hospital services and to hold the government accountable for the taxpayers and the citizens of Florida. Scott, thank you for being with me on the show this morning. Thank you. Good to be here. Well, it's great having you, and I think we should just get right into it right now. And you have such a background in health care, so let's start by talking with about that this morning, Scott. Now, I know that Florida has been reported to have the highest number of uninsured residents in the country. And now Governor Rick Scott, he's announced that Florida is going to be opting out of the federal health care initiatives. So can you tell us where this is going to leave us, Scott? Well, it's interesting. Uh, when, when I served as the Director of Health Policy under Governor Bush from uh, 1999 to 2001, we oversaw the largest study of the uninsured in the state of Florida, the second largest in the United States. And so by 2000, we knew how many uninsured we had in Florida. We knew their demographics. We knew where they lived and why they were uninsured. And we had about 2.6 million uninsured at that time. And so now, 12 years later, we're looking at you know, close to 4 million uh, in the upper three, you know, 3 million uninsured. And, and that's, that's too many. Uh, now, when uh, I was over that, that program, I advocated to, to do three things. One was to expand Medicaid, to, to bring more uh, uh, individuals into that program concurrent with fixing the problems in Medicaid. The second was to expand the kid care program, the state children's uh, health insurance program to allow parents to buy into that program. And the third was a, 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 a system called Health Flex, which was designed to help small businesses to, to offer insurance to their employees. And, and the cost could be divided among the employee, the employer, and, and state and municipal government. So now we find ourselves with a, a federal program that, that unfortunately was, was, was created in a short period of time. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was poorly vetted. There are many good components of it, but the unfortunate thing is, is it's, it's, it's really not affordable. Uh, even though it's, it's titled the Affordable Care Act, there are many components of it that, uh, that are problematic and problematic for Florida. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, you know, I pushed forward three different programs to mm -hmm. cover the uninsured. The, the Affordable Care Act focuses principally on one, uh, for states to expand Medicaid, and then to tax individuals who don't purchase insurance. Mm -hmm. So nothing was really done in that program to control the cost of insurance. Many small businesses and employers and, and, and governments are seeing their health insurance costs go up double digits year after year after year. So it's very expensive. And, and likewise, with the Medicaid program, there are few states that actually have a cost-effective Medicaid program. Mm -hmm. uh, Florida's Medicaid program, just it, it doesn't work. It, it's beyond broken. We can mm -hmm. fix it. Uh, but we have to, to put the resources into it, and, and we have to, to move beyond the special interest. Governor Scott has long expressed his concern for a government-mandated type of health care program. Uh, in essence, you know, what, what we know from, from the years of, of being in health care is, is really government health care in and of itself is inefficient. It's fraught with fraud. Fraud is expensive. Uh, South Florida has been designated by the federal government as the Medicare fraud capital of the country. That's okay? scary. And, 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 and those are dollars that are wasted. Mm -hmm. we, we have significant fraud in the Florida Medicaid program. Mm -hmm. and, and so to, to move blindly to expand a program which by most measurements is broken. It doesn't meet the needs of patients. There are, are, are patients that go without specialty care 
because the program is so poorly structured that specialty physicians don't want to participate. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, have an under, uh, you, you don't have enough pediatricians in Monroe County that mm -hmm. participate in the Medicaid program. So to add another two million people onto Medicaid, nearly doubling the size of it, when it doesn't work for those that are enrolled today, isn't really a solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we have to take a quick break, but I'm gonna come back with you right after these messages. So please stay with us, everyone.